cap, homie. Oh. We're all just waiting on you. Oh, wow. That was so loud. <laughs> yeah, you are the one that's causing this to be late. Wow. <laughs> anyway, last time, the party made plans for their grand charade. Zanzibar absolutely roasted the fuck out of Nim. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Like, oh! like, I feel, I feel like if she would, she would have come back from the elemental plane of fire with like less burn. <laughs> roasted her to an even 165 degrees Fahrenheit. It's like when you see those house fires from like people dunking their turkeys into into the fucking um... <laughs> boiling oil. Yeah, I've just how it instantly seen. sparks into like a raging fireball. Yeah, uh, <laughs> them got dunked on by somebody who was completely unaware that they dunked on them. For once. Or, well, less unaware, just more not really conscious of it, and cared cared very little to actually be conscious of it. Yeah, because it cares about him's feelings. But go on. Man, if given the opportunity, you know damn well Zanzibar would do that to every single living person on the planet. And probably some people who were already dead. Nim ain't special. He didn't. But he didn't. <laughs> she knows that. Yeah, there wasn't the opportunity to. I'll get over it when I'm I get over it. I'm just imagining Zanzibar live on stage. With all oh, those, like, public roasts? Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Zanzibar roasts the world. Even better when Zanzibar gets to the part where he just roasts on himself to complete the circle post his own roast because no one wants to roast him. Yeah, anyway, um, the recap, homie. That that's I, was there anything else to recap? Oh yeah, um Zanzibar and Nikala have things in common. Nikala soon to raid Zanzibar to shut up. Uh am I missing anything else? Uh Nim got smarterer, Yala got strongerer. Samson got. Samson and Samson and Actually, Samson kind of got Samson in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Samson, Samson in. Uh, what is this in reference to? So I. Know what so, so. He's not being reckless and going off by himself. Oh, yeah. the growth. Yeah, the personal growth. He asked people's opinions. Like the character arc. Kiala realized Samson cares about his her opinion of him. And that made her become Hold on. And holding on. What I'm supposed to be holding on to, I'm not sure. An egg. Does Jaffe count as an egg? No. Oh. Can I hold Jaffe no anyway? As long as you're also holding an egg. Be right back. I'll show you an egg. Except you don't like eggs. This game so isn't actually going to start until eight. <laughs> what do you mean? It's only three. You heard me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we have five hours until we start. Or we could go an extra five hours. Five hours? That's so many hours. It yeah, is. it's like five. Well, maybe no, it's like ten. Like, well, maybe then we'll like actually hit the prologue. Mm -hmm. Alright. Now that I have TOZ dice, all my rolls will be wonderful. <laughs> Alright, I walked all the way downstairs with Jao Fei in hand, walked to the fridge, opened up the door, picked up an egg, brought it to my nose, and said, I'm holding you because Jay told me to put it back in the tray, close the fridge, and walk back up here. <sighs> Did I fulfill- No, you're supposed- No, you're supposed to be holding it up here. 
Wouldn't it be funny if the egg hatched? <laughs> like it just it was unfertilized and then just like saying that brought it back to life. Listen. If I manage to make Necromancer. an unfertilized egg hatch <laughs> because I told it that Jay told me to hold it, we're gonna have to evaluate several different things on how that happened and what it means. And I will I not you. stop until I have all the answers. Or killed. Yeah. Who would kill me? Them. Not me. Because remember, if you die, I'll kill you. But if you kill me, do I die? No. What the fuck? Are you stupid? <laughs> <laughs> what are you stupid? If I kill you, you live. Yeah. <laughs> this whole time, I was actually undead. His killing me brought me back to life. Why are you chuckling? What's so funny? I don't know. D12s. Yes! What a funny looking dice! The D12! It is. Look at it! I'm I, holding it up to the camera. I, I don't we see it. You can't the camera. see it, only your You're FBI not agent. You're streaming! Can. My Stream. FBI agent doesn't exist. That's a lie. She is I'm her own, own FBI, FBI agent. <laughs> <laughs> see, someone here So gets you it. don't exist? Yes. Okay. Well, bye, Jane. It was nice knowing you. What does that say about me? Ah, oh, uh, self burns. Those are rare. <laughs> anyway, um, was there anything else in the recap? We have Kalasundere. Nim needs a uh, burn ointment to stop the seven deadly burns that she. Who's Yala? What do you mean, who's Yala? Who's Yala? This campaign has only ever had two characters. Yeah. You were a party of four, and then two of them left. <laughs> Enough with this! We're never gonna start until, like, eight if this keeps up. <laughs> <laughs> Man, what a strange and arbitrary time to consider starting. Yeah, really, what happened? <laughs> uh, anyway... <laughs> Timekeeper, what's our time looking like? Bring out your time uh, notes, your chronology. Uh, we're a few hours before we reach the coast of Everengal. Alright, do you know what the time of day is? Um, well, we were told that we would they'd see us at around 2. I think we would be there around 2. If we're a few hours out, then it would be two hours a away little before from the noon. coast. I don't know if that uh. correlates to exactly 2. Not well, yet. no, we said, no, Zanzibar Zan estimated that we'd get there around two. Did he? Okay. Yes, because he said that it would take a, we would get to the, um, actual, uh, thing a few hours later. When we were talking about, like, time stuff and invisibility hijinks. Fair enough. So now, we have the option. We want to accelerate to landing at the port, or do we want to be two hours out away from the port? Uh, have we cleared everything up? <laughs> that is more of a question for your party than for me. Uh, does anyone have anything they want to do before we get back to land? So, um, what yeah. is the plan? <laughs> uh, <laughs> that would be a good thing to go over. That, that, <laughs> hey, that is the best thing to clear up. And you know what? <laughs> we'll start there. Right after, you know, the These last messages. point of the session came up, I, I guess it would be fitting for Kiala to say, you know, okay, so what exactly is the plan? If that's agreeable. Above board, contemplating the game. I mean, we can play the game above board too. That is true. Um, hey, fine. Do it how it makes you all most happy. So one thing I want to know is, uh, so Zanzibar had put a uh, snowdrop up to the uh, heist part of it. Yeah, Zanzibar is gonna go. Did Samson have anything specific he wanted to ask for? Because uh, if yeah. not, Zanzibar when is are... going to have him go get the most valuable thing in Everengal. 
which I feel like is going to be something dumb. Uh, yeah, knowing that king, definitely. But uh, that's besides the point. Uh, Samson wants to know what exactly he's telling the thing to go look for, and also wants to know how are we supposed to let it out if our lie is this is a this is a creature we obtained from Zanzibar. I don't <laughs> think he'll let us like let it roam in the streets. <laughs> Well, assuming the question is actually being asked, Zanzibar would respond. Well, that's easy. You don't. Leave Snowdrop here, and I'll send him to run along. And now, what exactly are you looking to get it, um, to tell him to get? Because I only have a faint idea of what I'm looking for. Well, you want something of high value, right? Mmm. Specifically, I want a few books of sorts. Zanzibar will uh, see if I have any documentation. Eyebrow, and he'll just pick Snowdrop up and be like, Samson, it's a 12 foot long fox. 12 foot? <laughs> 12 inches. Oh, the I said the wrong <laughs> measurement. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, when, this, when did this thing become fucking um, a little Sato's little fox? A, a literal rope <laughs> put by the front rock. <laughs> it's a 12 inch long fox creature. How many books do you think it can carry? Why do you think I didn't want to put it up to the house? You know what? That is on me. That would put the ball back in your court. I, I know, I'm thinking. Sorry, brain's ah. slow right now. Ah, okay. Well, slow into your brain. I can't. You can't! Not gonna lie, I really thought you were gonna go, I can't, they built it to the wall about me. I was thinking about it, but then I realized I should have been thinking about the session. <laughs> so I stopped thinking about it. Nah, always me. Always You'll think me. during games. <laughs> no, but now I have to. Says the player that literally writes epics and novels to explain some. Oh god, what's the word? Why Yala prefers toast for breakfast. <laughs> More there is an interesting that. reason behind that. Oh my god, give me it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's all outside of the session. Fine. Speaking of, how's the document on the old language coming? Uh... Aha. It's at the same place it was when I sent you the first chunk of it before. Uh, I thought you were going to say when you started. Well, make a note somewhere. <laughs> I have a word that you have to add in there. Uh... DM it to her? I will. Not cool. right now, but later. Cool. So in the event I forget, remind me, and in the event you forget about it, I'll remind you. Okay. Perfect, game one. Has your brain sped it more now? I have not. Um, so, um, Samson will say, eh, it's really of no issue. I mean, I already decided to put it behind me, so whatever you want Snowdrop to take, I guess, is uh, whatever he's gonna go after. I mean, that's easy. I could easily have him retrieve the most valuable thing in all of Evangel. Yeah, but I don't really know what that is, and I don't think that'll make me be able to shoot my guns better. Perhaps yes, perhaps no. But would you really want the surprise spoils? <laughs> this is reminding me of something. Uh, I guess not. Attaboy. And he's just gonna reach over and pat you on the head. On the hat? Uh, yeah, pat you on the hat. Pat pats. Hat, 
You know, that, like that gif of giving Samson head pats. Samson's got a squishy brain. Makes little hammer squeaks when you when you pet. I'm getting off track. Where are we? Another place. Um, say words. Samson, say words. Someone say words. Samson already said his word. <gasps> <laughs> Samson J. Merrymaker. Derogatory. And that's the thesis. <coughs> ah, yes, many words. Word it. Are we waiting on Xantax's response? Mm, no. No. He, he his response was uh. Head petting Samson. Yeah, head pat oh. Hat pat head pat. So we still haven't actually said what the plan was. <laughs> no. Uh, you, you go in and yeah, I don't uh, think there's anything pop their first ears to off, and mm -hmm. I'll cover in case they somehow get bored or actually feel like talking to us about things that matter. <laughs> so, uh, Nim's gonna say. I think we should make the king write us, like, our certificate of appreciation. Proof we did it, in case it ever comes up. Why, why would we want proof that we went to a no-man's land? That people consider the end of the earth? I had a reason. And I thought about it. It's just right now, I can't for the life of me remember that reason. Which I should have written down, but I did not. This day is full of surprises, because I'm gonna have to agree with the cowboy. Why, on all of this celestial body, would you want that? Why? I almost said bragging rights, but <clears throat> that's not it. <laughs> What was the reason? Today's been too long a day. Um, Nim will say, Well, I just think it come in handy in case we have official business. The official is in quotes. I I don't think I want a paper trail to the castle that's about to explode. It's a good point. Solid point. Again, agreeing with the cowboy. You're basically asking for a doctoral degree proving that you studied regicide. I mean, sure, if you're about to go into the underworld as a top-tier assassin, that might help, but... Huh. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that! Sansibur's just gonna pause and be like, well, how I did it. Bringing me to my next point, I think we should extort. Oh, without... That goes without saying. Fantastic. <laughs> Listen, I, I came back, I'm, I planned on committing robbery one way or another. Technically, you are robbing. robbing. You are robbing the heart and soul of every girl right out from under every man, woman, and child's ribcage. And they Odd don't need them. Oddly specific word choice there. But, uh, at the very least, if we get overpaid by the king... We can also pay for Celeste and Prince funeral rates? Mm. I, I mean, 
I've never died before, so I don't really know how much that would cost. It depends on how fancy a funeral you want. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> well... I also feel like that wouldn't be something we would have to pay for. Or rather, they wouldn't want to wait on us to get it done. That's why we make the king pay for it. That's why we overcharge him. Heartily. True, we can put that in the argument. How long are you exactly planning to sit there? Uh, till we get what we want. <laughs> He's just sitting there, slack-jawed, looking at you. Yeah. Shake's you gonna remember? reach over to, like, Nim's arm and be like, We have all of the cards in our hand. Well, Nim's hand. hand. Do you remember <laughs> how long that letter was? Yeah, it was riddled with spelling errors and grammatical inaccuracies. Oh, which yes, is the child's an idiot. Congratulations! <laughs> I, I, I never read it. <laughs> Of course, Watch I wouldn't expect you to read, but the point is, <laughs> it takes that long for him to write a letter saying, come here, you're doing something for me. How absolutely arbitrary and time-wasted do you think it's going to be for a actual, official documentation to be written, passed down, certified, registered, and then shipped out? Mind you, it would have to leave the grounds of the castle before the castle's well, you know, non-existent. We've Wait, what letter are you talking about? We're talking about getting paid. Right <laughs> the requisition of payment for a funeral would take a lot longer than you think. Oh. Well, we'll just take it up front. What's he gonna do? Force us to hand over the sword? <laughs> His face just <laughs> flatlines and stares at you, <laughs> deadpan. <laughs> no! Why, whatever an impudent child that's desperate beyond measure ever think to use his power as high king of the world to force anyone to do anything? Certainly not send five children to a no man's land to do something that is almost guaranteed suicide. To be fair, we did something that they failed to do twice now, so... And to be fair, they kind of did want it to be a suicide. I think we have the upper hand here. <laughs> Set above game. Let, let's... You know what? Fine. Whatever. Let's see what works out for you. How about you focus on getting there first? Alright. You're let's being awfully sure. quiet, moody one. Are you still contemplating how you feel? What? Surely you have something to add to this. I mean, you are the maiden of keeping them alive. <laughs> uh. The fuck's a maiden? I'm kidding. <laughs> I would Not literally Yala. want. Maiden China. No, that maiden. is true. Not Yala, but. It was said in sarcasm. <laughs> Plus, if Nim actually asked what a maiden is, I'm revoking your rich card. <laughs> no, it was she only knows what a lady is. is. What's a maiden? It just doesn't sound like a terminology her people would use. Shall I got to add to the situation? What's the 411 oh. on Hiala? I mean, she's never liked any part of this plan at any point. So she's just kind of along for the ride. Zanzibar will still sit there and stare at you. <laughs> <laughs> Also, I'm, like, half tempted to ask, like, where are we actually getting teleported to? Like, is it still, like, within the city? Or, like, are we gonna do that cool, like, hero rise out of the rubble that wouldn't kill us? Well, 
being tempted to ask something and ask me. They're two separate things. Ask it. Um, yeah, no one will ask what I just said. Well, I figured that would be obvious. After my victory, I'm going home. Yeah, but where are we going? <laughs> Wait, so that's that's gonna make I guess that's up to Kiala's us. ears twitch. <laughs> Just be like, pardon? So you do exactly what work. I said. Once I win and that castle goes boom, I'm going home. But where are we going? Well, I'm the one driving this metaphorical vehicle, so I you can easily assume with me. Oh. I thought you were gonna say ew. That too. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you genuinely want to run around the known world being chased down. Figure you would want a place to lay low and be out of sight while the world devolves into chaos and madness. That'd be nice. <laughs> he just gestures towards him. Exactly. So, I'm going home. And I suppose me casa is su casa. The fuck language was that? <laughs> Do you know uh, what yeah, I'm not familiar with that. <laughs> right. <laughs> he just pitches the bridge of his nose. Old saying. Translates, my house is your house. So when you say old saying, do you mean like old because it happened like way in the past or old for you who's lived kind of too long? Hey, there's never such a thing as living too long. There's just yeah, living there pathetically. <laughs> you know, like you do. I'm sorry I was laughing. I don't know what you just said. He said <laughs> there's not really living too long. There's just living pathetically. Like them does. Has he looked in a mirror? Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, infinite amounts of power, resources beyond compare. But he can't fix his bones. And no wife. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't pull any hose. Okay. <laughs> I didn't realize hoeing was a qualification of being an upstanding member of society. And having a successful life. Not. That was never what was on the <laughs> hey, what? What? <laughs> you heard him. Oh. I didn't. What were we talking about? Same. Hoeing. No hoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Nim's question. Uh, a language that I literally don't remember what it's called. Sad. Ooh. Tragic. Yeah. Painful. Is there a way to make this explosion look like a large dose of not our fault? I mean... It's probably going to look like a large dose of my fault. On account of the fact that it is? Cool. <laughs> Yeah, but it's not like we're getting pinned for this, so can we not get pinned for this, is Nim's question. Of course you're gonna get pinned for this. You're walking up to the castle. It's going to look <laughs> like I did it, because I'm not going to make it look... It's not going to end up looking like a wild magic source that's losing control, a moron in a bunch of layers, or a self-deprecative tabaxi set off a massive nuclear explosion. If you want it to look like self-regret, self-pity, or self-inked, then sure, I can add some flair on it. Maybe make it look like a giant hat. I'm trying to figure out who everyone is on those lab labels. I do like hats. The urge to say, can you make it pink without tassels, is uncanny. That does sound like something really stupid Nim would say. It's only confident questions or things that don't pertain to the subject. 
<laughs> Basically. Being on the run sounds like complicated, though. So, if there was a way to skip that, that'd be great. Yeah. Go back home. Like I said. Mm. With Panda. Go back home, lie alone, let everything fall apart at the seams. Come back in, stitch what parts we need together. Zip zap zoop, before you know it, we'll probably have a war on our hands. Then the fun begins. I don't think wars are fun. Of course you don't. Of course you do. Seeing which side has stronger ambitions, fighting for your right to live the way you want to. Cough, nerd. <laughs> Cough. Protecting those you want to protect, ensuring the assets you want to ensure. Coming out victorious, seeing the world change the way you forced it to. Yeah, no, that sounds absolutely dumb. Nim, don't worry about understanding. Good people won't. <laughs> of course you'd say that, you little Nuremberg soldier. You're saying a lot of words that don't make any sense. <laughs> That's one of the few terms I do remember. Basically, it surmises to somebody who literally just walks their entire life following orders, never questioning right from wrong. Unless they want to cast judgment on somebody, and then they get really, really indignant about it. Or were all the tabaxi and Aarakrothra that you killed in your life deserving of death? She's gonna glare at him. You can glare at me all day long, at least I don't pretend to be a good person. Nimble like. Yalla is a good person. <laughs> yes, anyone is good or evil depending on the lens you want to give them. But I'm sure there's plenty of people who think she's a monster. What are we talking about exactly? Stuff that literally is irrelevant to the point. Do you understand what you're doing? Are you coordinated? We haven't understood a single thing we've done since we, like, set foot on this boat to come hmm. to Zanzibar. I wouldn't say that. Samson seems to grasp things pretty easily. Grasping the basics of the situation and grasping the full scope are not the same thing. No offense, Samson. It's still better than grasping nothing. I realize that sounded really, really rude. <laughs> hey, grasping the basics is still better than not grasping anything at all. Yeah, but that doesn't mean we understood what we were getting into. You didn't understand what you were getting into the first time you got on this boat. That's and what I said. Yes, and you understand slightly more than you did before. As far as I'm keeping tally, I'm doing a lot better than anybody else has. I want ice cream. Like I said, I'll give you ice cream when you finish cryomancy. I have too much snark in my soul and almost said I'll get ice cream when you get your wife back, apparently. Good <laughs> 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 That's who play your party's looking better, <laughs> looking more possible by the second. Apparently, I feel many emotions that I thought I did about ice cream. <laughs> Apparently, you do. <laughs> that seems like an unhealthy devotion to creamed ice. Bang, bang. Anyway. He just 
sleep? Yeah. Sad. Tragic. Oh. He's abandoned us. Didn't even say bye. How rude. I said Methuselah Huzula. Or Methuselah Huzula. One of those two. Is, is, that the, is that the vocal components for Misty Step? I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <clears throat> That'd be really funny if Sansa was constantly like, <laughs> She a kazing! We're about to go and in. We're about to go start. Apparently a revolution or something. When would Cryomancy come in? At least for the next two days. Well, in the next 48 hours, you'll be lying low, so there's plenty of time to grill you. And then we mm. could cover Geomancy, Pyromancy, Electromancy. I heard Piratemancy. Ah, uh, yes, the magic of pirates. I don't have to say it. I'm an adult. I don't have to say it. So anyway. Hmm. We're about to get pinned for this. And basically become an enemy of the whole world. Well, there's two options. I'm just assuming the one that's more likely. Either they're going to attempt to claim that all of you die in the blast... Or they're going to claim that the ones that they know were for a fact alive were related to this and pin this on you and attempt to save face. Now, if they claim you're dead, then they're even stupider than I suspect because, well, you'll still be alive and they can't confirm you're dead. So if they can't confirm you're dead and you show up back alive again, then that just shows they're really lying. They're going to get pegged for one lie. So then they just peg for another if they claim you're alive and that you're terrorists, well, then they can make you look bad. And if they make you look bad, then they can try and save face. Which isn't going to really help because the first lie about what they were sending you to do is kind of going to blow up in their face. And everywhere else. So I'm assuming, as presumptuous as it may be, that they're going to try and brand you as terrorists. But it is completely possible that they could claim all of you died in the explosion. Mm. One is just... I, I mean, if I was in their shoes, I'd definitely go for the branding terrorist kind of thing. I almost said I feel like no one can fit your shoes. You have a lot of sass. Are you okay? <laughs> I was born with sass. I just don't say a lot of it. Shay's here to cause havoc. <laughs> <laughs> That's I why woke she up took... too early and chose to voice the violence I keep inside. <laughs> That's why she took wild magic. Mm. So what do you think will happen if we get branded as terrorists? People are going to start coming after us, coming after our family. Most likely not, because I'm not going to give them enough time to organize. With the High King dead, it's highly likely that they, that Evangel will try and reassert control to keep everything together by going into martial law, putting power on the Grand Tacticians. That mm. would buy them some time, but that still means that Evangel is in military in martial law means the rest of Avondal is under martial law as well. Plus, with the accusation of branding you as terrorists, there is a very high chance they're going to point to your academies for some kind of subterfuge. Which, considering they picked you all based on poor relations or lackluster relations or a, a physical deterioration rela of relations between your countries in the first place, Glotnia has never gotten along that well with Avrindal. Drake under Axe always stood on its own. Beresis is literally just a bunch of paupers running around with money. Or a bunch of non-paupers running around with copious amounts of money. And Katna is literally just a mountain that nobody knows what goes on in. So it's literally... Two... And then there's Ardia, which 
once again deals with mostly trade, which does somewhat conflict with Avrindor wanting to constantly keep control of everything, as people with a lot of power want to do. So you had two nobodies, a researcher from a trade country, a, a political opposition, and a political and military opposition. It was kind of a stupid idea, which is why it's blowing up in their face. <laughs> blowing up. Exactly. Pun fully intended. Basically, the idea is to start a civil war, get people pointing fingers, get everything to deteriorate, and then come in and clean up what we need to. And what's that? Well, if you want to start a war, you need to have allies. What better way to make allies than to have a common interest in somebody you hate? Oh. We already. Oh! <laughs> like how they try to get everyone to go after you! Exactly! See? And you said he doesn't understand the grand scope of things. He's a lot smarter than you give. Well, he's more clever than you give him credit for. No offense. I could be smart. I'm. Sure you can. It's just going to take a lot of time at work. That's just rude. <laughs> hey, you're clever and quicker with wit than most people are. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. Point being, yeah. they wanted to start all of this by making me their perfect little villain. And in the end, what I'm going to do is make them all of your perfect little villains. Hmm. Por qué? Ah! Ah! What was that? <laughs> <laughs> of course, all above board, but I appreciate the humor of what you did. Glad you did. Hmm. Well. Then I got a good idea of what we're doing, I guess. Real, real thing is that, uh, we don't really have much of a choice now, do we? At this point, not really. Though, yeah. we haven't had a choice in like two months. We haven't had a choice since we got here. Unfortunately. That's kind of true. If I had the opportunity to cut you all loose, honestly, I would. This is a lot more work than I really need to do. But, you're also basically my only real in or backdoor into your accountant. How else am I supposed to use power and sway things if I can't get an ear? Then the only real other option would be me against the world. And, well... I don't think anybody in this room wants to see me against the world. Isn't this? Nah, I kind of like the world. See? He's just proving every second that he gets the bigger scheme. And then Samson's gonna just lean back and stretch. Well, I think we've cleared everything up. Wait, before you finish stretching, is Samson wearing the magic armor? No. Nim scratches his stomach. What He's still he wearing armor. So? Nim still scratches his stomach. <laughs> yeah, why scratch my armor? I hope that dogs love belly rubs, but that is not what happens! <laughs> <laughs> that would be the weirdest possible thing to say. Yeah! <laughs> If that's what you're going for. Yeah, that that was kind of uh really out there. <laughs> I thought you needed a belly scratch. That's not much better. <laughs> I don't know why I did it. I just really wanted to. <laughs> All the sass just boiled in and it's overflowed into belly scratches for Into Samson. pet the himbo. <clears throat> I'm 
I'm still so, on the dog lines. Hold on a second. <laughs> Nim shrugs. So, after all this is said and done, we blow up the castle and jet. Uh, we're staying with you for a little while? Probably. I need to make sure that Nim has the rest of her training down. Further that, furthermore, then I need to make sure that she's capable of handling herself. I don't handle anything about myself. That's <laughs> what After I would all, say. I'm but teaching I don't. her these things for her own defense. Basically making an investment. And then he just looks Ooh, at I've them. I've paid those off before. But then he just stares at them. However, if over the course of this training I feel like she's not going to use it for her own defense and best interest instead might use it to attack, well, then I might just have to rescind my interest. I want to say just like my father. Yeah, so think of think, think of this magic training as you being a boy. <laughs> if you don't do it, you mean nothing anymore. <laughs> it's does, just because it has one condition doesn't mean that it's not unconditional love. <laughs> <laughs> unconditional asterisk. <laughs> unconditional. It. In quotes. Unconditional int. Unconditional int. Love int. Indeed. And of course, just to make sure the point doesn't sail over your head, if I for any reason start to become convinced that you're just going to run around mad with power, I will probably twist your head off like a fruit. That's a specific image, but also, I don't run. Which would make my job all the more easier. I feel like Nim would never be the type of person to go mad with power. That's exactly why I started training her in the first place. Or Hialo. More offended you think I'd run. <laughs> I'm not. Of course you would. That's just self-preservation. Running in response to fear is a natural thing. What do you fear, Samson? A lot, actually. Hey, I'm not supposed to tell them. I didn't like tell that. them. I only told them that there was something. I didn't tell them what. Mm. Like what? We're not getting into this now. All right, what about tomorrow at night in the morning? <laughs> we'll see where we are. I think you should ask him every single day at nine in the morning until he tells you. How about you ask me every day at six in the morning? I don't wake up that early. Exactly. Well, that's not exactly true. You'll have at least two hours of training, and then you can ask him at six in the morning. Who gets up at four in the morning? You do! Now, is there anything you want to say? Otherwise, I think we'll just skip forward. Considering my screen just turned off, that's a perfect place to, <laughs> <laughs> to transition. <laughs> <laughs> Black screen of death. How you do fade the fade out. Rebel's computer was like, I'll put you to sleep next. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm gonna use the restroom. Think of thoughts. So we kill Zanzibar and then we move on. <laughs> <laughs> if only, man. <laughs> to come back. I'm going to. To dance? Get more coffee. Oh, I might dance on the way. I'll different. let you know. Do it. Yeah. I'll, I'll let you nope, know. No dancing, no coffee. I'm back. I think it's a bit late. Rebel takes off his headphones like immediately after talking. Dang. Yeah. So what's Yala thinking? Show me them Yala thoughts. Uh, she's sad. Why is she sad? Yeah, she probably hates this whole conversation. I mean, I yeah. imagine she does. <laughs> I mean, she... She feels... 
powerless? She hates all of this and can't do anything about it. What does this button do? I don't know what that means. Or that. Sorry, an icon popped up. A good one? I don't know, because it's like, show ribbon, and I was like, I don't want to have to look for my Woo! word file. Ribbons! Also, Nim would have put that ribbon that Samson got her on Snowdrop. Snowball. <gasps> Snowfall? You had it right the first time. <laughs> No, Point his, is. His name is not... <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not... <laughs> Maybe in the old language translation, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, something Nim can actually say. I'm kidding. Hello. <laughs> How are you today? <laughs> That hurts the lungs. <laughs> Why do you want well, my lungs to hurt? Uh, so it won't be the lungs that hurt, it'll be the back of the throat. <laughs> for speaking the old language. There's, um, there's a lot of and So it's Hebrew? Uh, a little bit. That, that may <laughs> not be one of the few languages I'm basing things off of. Oh yeah, my so God. basically, I took I took Hebrew and um, Inuktitut, and we're like squish. What's Inuktitut? Uh, it's the language spoken by um, Inuit. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Smart. Yeah, smart. which was <laughs> so like she was always sort of based off of that culture, but like I was looking, I was reading stuff on the language and listening to videos on it, and I was like, wow, this. This already has, like, some really good sounds for what I was going for. He nooktatut. Talking about the language? Mm -hmm. Shiala's old language, he nooktatut. He nookta brew. I did look to brew. Thank you. How is the brew? Ah, <laughs> uh, I mean... I bought really shitty coffee for the purpose of putting creamer in, so, uh... Shitty. Got it. You know, shitty, but like, you know, nice and sweet. Shitty, but amaretto flavored. No, I did not buy amaretto. Really? That's actually a little surprising. I mean, How I gave up creamer you? when I went on the diet, but I grabbed a, th a big thing of, um, white chocolate mocha. Uh, white chocolate peppermint. I would have figured that mm -hmm. you would have... For the amaretto, considering how much you like it. Yeah, but I wanted something for it... the holiday. Fair enough. I too want something for the holidays. So anyway, uh So we get to Avangal. Avangal? Avangal? Oh, hold on, don't get ahead of me. <laughs> so we get ahead of Lordo. Haha, <laughs> 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 funny stuff. Both for getting ahead of the DM. <laughs> uh, God, now I lost my train of thought. Yeah, as y'all get up to like deconvene and do all your stuff, Zanzibar is just like, You two, out of here. Kiala, stay. Okay. Come on, Nim. I almost said Kiel's not a dog. <laughs> hey, where's Snowdrop? Kiel. Still on the desk. Nim scoops him up. Hey, scoop. <laughs> S Samson's gonna give like like that gesture of like I, I want to hold him. Give me. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> give Yo, him the fuzzy baby. Nim just says no and then casts Fireball on Samson. <laughs> Samson dodges it perfectly. It wasn't a request, Nim. <laughs> <laughs> Samson's 
Samson just, just turned the angle. Samson just turns into the bully older brother. Give me the baby. No, mom said it's my turn with the Xbox. Hey, ma'am, <laughs> kick the baby. Don't kick the baby. Kick the baby. <laughs> anyway, so you two, Vominos. I, were, I thought you were going to say vomit because I'm not <laughs> expecting you to speak so much Spanish in this <laughs> session. <laughs> this is the this this uh this episode is brought to you by Spain. <laughs> this episode it's is brought country? to you by Duolingo, our sponsor for this Evangel. episode. <laughs> if you use our discount code, you can get du Duolingo <laughs> premium services for two weeks. Okay. <laughs> Not endorsed, not sponsored by Duolingo. <laughs> Do not feel like having that as not a Duolingo, legal issue. Just, just the entire country of Spain. Full, yeah. Full, yeah, that's obviously a joke. Do not need anybody thinking that these videos are sponsored by anybody. I'm poor. Nobody pays no me one shit. Would pay for this. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. We're all having fun. But random strangers, I don't think would care. Especially random strangers running Duolingo. Because they're already all dead inside. I see your point, but also <laughs> I genuinely think that's the most hurtful thing you've ever said to me. Sorry. I accept. Alright, so you two vomitos? I got hit by it again! <laughs> it did sound like it. <laughs> So, Samson and Nim vomit, I think, is what we're doing. can vomit again. again. They just vomit project- they just projectile vomit themselves out of the office. Charles <laughs> 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 Bigger cleaned that up. He's a buddy. <laughs> He's a pal. He's a friend. He's a guy. Not if he has to clean up two people's vomit, I'll tell you that. <laughs> hey, Do buddy. you vomit us? Everybody, let's go. I'm gonna take that as a yes. Is it yeah, like twice? Oh, no. I didn't hear. Yeah, no, we were we were exiting. That that, oh. that 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 was Samson gesturing for the for the for the baby. Oh, okay. Nim will surprisingly hand over. Snow ball, snow drop, snow whatever. Had it the second time. I'd ask how you forgot your own... This but... is Shaylin we're talking about. Uh, yeah, that's why I didn't say that, because I knew why. <laughs> this is also not the first time I've forgotten my familiar's name. Making a case for why we don't give you familiars every session. Play a wizard. The only way to stop me from having one is to kill it, and my DM's already done that. Haha, <laughs> uh <-huh>, anti-magical burr. <laughs> Anyway, look, I'll put this simply. You like Samson. I think he's also kind of cute. What will we do? Shay! <laughs> <laughs> we both came is... here wearing the same thing. It's embarrassing. <laughs> One of us has to change. As funny as it is, Shay, please <laughs> cease. <laughs> Just for a little bit. I'll make this as simple as possible. You are the l one who least wants to be here, wants the most choice, and has the least to offer. Let's face it, Katma isn't a militarized country. What little defense you have is tribes on top of a mountain. You already hate me, you already don't agree with this. So you do have a decision to make. Once this all goes down and we go back to Zanzibar, I can cut you loose. But if you stay, you're not just subjecting yourself to this. I'm just going to get dragged in too. You will be pulling everyone in Katmai into a war. They're isolated enough. Between Galatnia, Varesis, and Ardia, you're landlocked out of the conflict. I leave it up to you. That's about the most I can do. You're not just subjecting yourself to this. It's everyone you know. 